what are the features of of a good intensive reading exercise that's what we are going to look at in this module you know an intensive reading um, can be developed with the help of some exercises or with the help of some um, with the help of some material which is uh, closely read by the students and that's what we are going to see now so an intensive reading exercise can uh, focus on items or strategies uh, which can be internalized by students and which can be developed by students. So these items, I mean the words which they, or the grammar they learn or the sentence structure they learn, these can be applied to any text. So that's its significance actually. So um, it requires students to uh, to read the text for a specific task or specific aim or purpose and while they are reading uh, a given text intensively we give them as being second language teachers or EFL teachers we give them formative feedback and it, may, it helps them become aware of uh, these things. So what actually what a good um, a good intensive reading exercise does. It helps direct learners' attention towards the features of the text. I mean, the language features of the text that can be applied to any other text or that can help them uh, read some text in future. And it develops some strategies for dealing with any text. I mean, the strategies of skimming and scanning is a general one, which can be applied from, which can be used while reading a newspaper or which can be applied when reading a fiction or non-fiction. So it can uh, uh, help gain knowledge of the language and ways of dealing with the language rather than focusing merely on the message. And uh, uh, intensive reading exercise actually helps students um, become aware of um, how to read and which part to be read and which part to be skimmed or scanned and uh, which parts of the text need more attention as compared to the other parts of the text. And how to understand the text in its wider context. So, and how we can uh, help them gain information from outside the text, okay. So, uh, these exercises actually uh, should be made in such a way which help provide useful information about learners' pro performance, I mean, um, if, if, for example, learners are not successful on some parts, uh, we can help them do differently on, in those parts. And this can be done through the use of uh, feedback. So features of good um, exercise in an intensive reading program is, is critical because it requires key decisions on the part of the um, uh, exercise maker. I mean, it, it requires some expertise, some skills and knowledge to enhance the grammatical or the linguistic competence of the students.